Hello everyone. Today's question of the day is based upon arithmetic progressions and it is again a pass cat question. The question is consider the set S having elements 1 2 3 up to 1000. How many arithmetic progressions can be formed from the elements of S that start with 1 and end with 1000 and have at least 3 elements? So using the elements of S we have to form an AP whose first term will be 1 the end term will be 1000 and that AP should have at least 3 elements. So you are already familiar with the nth term of an AP. So last term of the AP which is 1000 it will be equal to A plus N minus 1 D. A is 1 here plus N minus 1 N denotes the number of terms D denotes the common difference. So when you solve this you get N minus 1 into D equals to 999. We have been told that the AP should have at least 3 elements that means n should be greater than equal to 3. Now all the APs that we are going to form they should have the terms only present in this set S. So for example if I take n equal to 3 I should get 2d equals to triple 9 and d will be something in fractions or decimals right. But that is not possible because if d is in fraction then then the terms of this AP some of them will be in decimals and they will not be present in this set S. So hence we can say that we cannot have a fractional value for d. d should only have an integer value positive integer. So what we can see here is two integers are being multiplied n minus 1 and d. These are two integers that are being multiplied. So what we can do here is find out the factors of triple nine then using those factor pairs we will decide what can be the possible values for n and d. n should not be less than 3 ok. So if I find out the factors of triple 9, triple 9 is equal to 3 cube into 37. So total number of factors of triple 9 will be 3 plus 1 into 1 plus 1. I hope you know how to find out the factors of a number which gives me 8. So if I write down those factor pairs they will be like 1 into triple 9 then 3 into triple 3 9 into triple 1 then 27 into 37 and we can reverse these pairs as well if I write triple 9 into 1 that means n minus 1 will be equal to triple 9 and d will be equal to 1 so that is possible yes hence I can reverse these pairs so triple 3 into 3 then triple 1 into 9 and 37 into 27 now let us try to remove some factor pairs that are not satisfying the conditions for example this first one 1 into triple 9 it means n minus 1 the first number should be equal to 1 and d should be equal to triple 9. So if n minus 1 equal to 1 that means n should be equal to 2 but we have to take n greater than equal to 3 so that means this factor pair this will be removed. In the second one n minus 1 should be equal to 3 that means n equal to 4 so yes this satisfied this one also satisfied this one satisfies as well rest all of the pairs satisfy we get n greater than or equal to 3. Hence we can say that out of these 8 factors, 8 factor pairs I will remove 1, 1 into triple 9. So 7 factor pairs will remain in which n will be greater than or equal to 3 option d will be the correct answer here. So that is how we have to solve this question. We just had to rule out uh, whatever values are not possible. If you still have a doubt please comment. Thank you.